Yun, the principal of Shihai First Academy. He was telling the students of Shihai Academy that today is the day their profession is chosen and the day that will determine their fates. He is hoping all of them can reach the same level as their senior, Su Kyangsing, and become the pillar of human race. The one principal Liu Yun was talking about is Su Kyangsing, level 80 holy mage. Everyone gets competitive looking at Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu is the top student of Shihai First Academy. But everyone don't know that Lin Moyu have been reborn into this world for so many years, and at long last he can get his profession. This world is like an RPG game, and there are not only many dungeons and secret areas, but also monsters in the wild. After the profession selection, individuals can gain experience by slaying monsters by raiding dungeons and secret areas to level up and enhance skills and increase overall strength. Countless sages of the human race have carved out a living space for the human race among countless monsters. That's how they have a stable society today. Of course, the most popular professions in this world are naturally the combat classes. Support class professions are next in line, followed by livelihood professions. The combat and support classes can be divided into five classes, low, medium, high, rare, and legendary. The entire Shihai city may not be able to produce a legendary occupation in 10 years. Suddenly it announced that Transmutation Circle is activated. Yang Lin, Moyu's classmate goes to him and asks him what is his most desired profession. Yang Lin told Lin Moyu that he want to be a knight. He'll be a knight for sure. And then he can protect the girls, Yang Lin said to him, that his and Shia Shui's results are so good, he can probably change into a good profession. Lin Moyu left without replying to him. Yang Lin's other friend stops him and asks him, why is he talking to Lin Moyu? They told Yang Lin that Lin Moyu won't answer him. It's just that Lin Moyu's grades are a little better. Maybe today his profession selection will be from the livelihood class. Yang Lin asked them to don't say that. He told them that Lin Moyu doesn't talk simply because he doesn't like to. On the other hand, Lu Yun greets Zhang Kian, LV, 52 formation master. Lin Moyu was too surprised to see Zhang Kian. He relished that. That old man is actually an era master. That is a rare supporting profession. Principal Lu Yun said that once he announced their student name, he should enter the transmutation circle. The first one was, Zuda, Zuda gets a livelihood class, farmer. Zuda was too shocked, he can't believe it that, he get a livelihood class, and a farmer at that. The next guy gets a livelihood class, chef, he was happy because, his father was a chef, he never thought he would become a chef too. He then inherited his father's profession. Zhang Kian said to Principal Lu Yun, that this year's students are very average, Lu Yun said. Yeah, until now there hasn't been a rare profession. Zhang Kian asked Lu Yun that how many years has it been since his academy came up with a rare profession. He told Lu Yun that it would be nice to have a high-level profession from the combat class. Lu Yun said to him that there are only one or two rare professions in the entire city of Shihai every year, so it's too much for him to hope. Next student was Zia Ziyue. Zia Ziyue while walking towards the transmutation circle said to Lin Mo Yu that she'll show him who the real genius is. Zia Ziyue was thinking that although they were known as the two geniuses of the academy, Lin Mo Yu was always on top of her. But she won't admit defeat. When Zhang Kian saw Zia Ziyue, he stand up for his seat saying, this girl has potential. Principal Lu Yun asked Zhang Kian, why do we say that? Zhang Kian told Lu Yun that Zia Ziyue's mental strength is more than twice that of ordinary people, and she may become a mage. Lu Yun said that, that's a high-level profession in the combat class. If it's some special mage, then it's a rare profession. When both of them were talking, Zia Ziyue stopped on transmutation circle. When she stepped on it, there was a huge fire blast in the sky. Zhang Kian shouted that, a vision has appeared, it's a rare profession. Zia Ziyue awaken a combat class profession. Elemental mage which is a rare profession. Everyone was cheering for HOR. Zhang Kian complimented Zia Ziyue that she is very good. Zia Ziyue thanked him. Zia Ziyue's friends were congratulating her for her rare profession. One of her friends said to her that, this time she is sure Zia Ziyue will be able to surpass that annoying Lin Moyu. Zia Ziyue gets serious when she hear Lin Moyu's name. The next student was Lin Moyu. Zia Ziyue smiles thinking this time she will win for sure. Principal Lu Yun asked Zhang Kian, that what do he think of Lin Moyu? Zhang Kian said to Lu Yun that, apart from looking very calm, there is nothing special about Lin Moyu. Principal Lu Yun told Zhang Kian that, there are two geniuses in their school. Zia Ziyue is the second, and Lin Moyu is the first. Zhang Kian said to Lu Yun, that he should know that academic performance and class change are not necessarily linked. 
Principal Lu Yun looking at Lin Moyu, step on the transmutation circle. When Lin Moyu step on it, there was tremendous amount of energy going into the sky. Wind started blowing, sky looks like it wants to meet the earth. Sky was full of dark clouds. There was lightning all over the sky. Principal Lu Yun looks at the sky and asks, what's going on here? Zhang Kian said, that it's a vision, the transformation vision. Principal Lu Yun thought that, it's such a huge vision. Is this going to be another rare profession? Is this combat class or support class? Zia Ziyue looks at the sky and thought that, this vision is much bigger than the one she just had when she changed profession, she said. There is no way, she won't lose to Lin Moyu. Suddenly a student shouted that, there's movement in the dark clouds. There were some kind of soldiers were appearing in those dark clouds. All those soldiers are undead soldiers. All the students were scared seeing the undead. The dark clouds were full of undead. There were billions of undead soldiers in those dark clouds. Zia Ziyue was looking at those soldiers. She clearly know that this is just a vision, but she can't fight that kind of stuff. All those undead soldiers goes inside Lin Moyu's body. Lin Moyu awakened the combat class profession. The necromancer, which is a unique hidden profession. In Lin Moyu hand, a green fire was forming. Lin Moyu thought that, it's a unique hidden profession. This means that he is the only necromancer in the world. Unless Lin Moyu die, there will never be another profession like his. This unique hidden profession is not only rarer than rare professions, but even rarer than legendary professions. Other students were talking that Lin Moyu is so powerful that he transformed into a hidden profession. And it's a unique one. How could the boar be so lucky? Could the array have malfunctioned? Some were saying that hidden professions aren't always powerful. And there have been many people in history whose hidden professions weren't very good. Hidden professions are only rare, not necessarily great. Girls were talking taught. The vision just now was so scary, and his profession is a necromancer. Doesn't he have to deal with dead people all the time? He doesn't talk. Isn't it good to deal with dead people? There's no need to talk. All of them were jealous of Lin Moyu. But Lin Moyu don't give a shit about what they think of him. Lin Moyu was thinking that, the uniqueness of the hidden profession is much better than he expected. Zhang Kian called Lin Moyu from behind. Lin Moyu greets him and asks him how can he help him. Zhang Kian said to Lin Moyu that he have never seen Lin Moyu's unique profession before. Can he demonstrate Lin Moyu's skills? Lin Moyu told him to wait for a moment. Lin Moyu looks at his status window, which says that Lin Moyu is a level 1 necromancer with 10 summoning space. He can summon skeleton warrior at level 1. The black iron level skeleton warrior. There are Black Iron Bronze, Silver Gold, Diamond Legendary Divine Level Skeleton Warrior. Lin Moyu also has Soul Blaze Level 1. It burn the target's soul and deal burning damage. Its power depends on Lin Moyu's spiritual power and skill level. Lin Moyu thought that his spiritual power is stronger, which means that necromancers belong to the mage profession. But the skill of summoning skeleton warriors are like the summoner class, Lin Moyu said. Summon skeleton warrior, and his hand started glowing with that green fire. And the black iron level skeleton warrior, a pair in front of everyone with a big sword in his hand. Other students were surprised that Lin Moyu actually summoned the skeleton from the dark cloud. They were scared thinking this time it's for real. Zhang Kian throw a spiritual laser at Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior. Lin Moyu gets a notification that skeleton warrior was attacked. Do we want to counter-attack? If you don't make a choice within 10 seconds, it will automatically counter-attack. Lin Moyu order it to stay put. Zhang Kian said to Lin Moyu that his skeleton warrior is very vigilant. Zhang Kian looks at Lin Moyu and thought that he himself is a level 52 professional. And Lin Moyu is only level 1. But the summon is hostile to him. The attributes of this skeleton warrior are average. Lin Moyu is only level 1, so it's hard to see the strength of his profession. Perhaps after becoming a high level, this skeleton will become more powerful. Zhang Kian said to Lin Moyu that he put good effort. Maybe in the future it will make a difference. When Lin Moyu was walking with his skeleton warrior, everyone stay away from him. Yang Lin was too excited seeing that skeleton warrior. He asked Lin Moyu if he can touch it, Yang Lin touch it. He asked Lin Moyu if this skeleton powerful. Lin Moyu told him that this skeleton should be better than Yang Lin. Yang Lin said, he don't believe him, it looks like a rag. Suddenly Yang Lin name was called. Lin Moyu recall that skeleton warrior. When Lin Moyu recall that skeleton warrior, he gets a notification that his summoning space 1 is full out of 10. There I a skeleton warrior of quantity. 1 in it, Lin Moyu understand that the summoning space can accommodate summons and can be summoned at any time without the need to consume spiritual energy and the capacity will increase as he level up. When Lin Moyu thought about leveling up, he remembers that, when he just changed his profession, 
he seemed to have seen a real necromancer. One day, he will also be able to kill a dragon in seconds. Yang Lin returns to Lin Moyu. He awakened a combat class profession, sword and shield knight, a advanced profession. While laughing Yang Lin said to Lin Moyu that, they will fight together in the future. He will stand in front of Lin Moyu. If Lin Moyu wanna kill him, just step over his dead body. Lin Moyu told him that, he said the opposite. Yang Lin smiled and said to Lin Moyu that, he have finally opened his mouth. Yang Lin just said the opposite on purpose. Principal Lu Yun said to the students that, no matter what profession they have changed to, the academy has arranged a place for they to improve. Tomorrow, the novice leveling dungeon of Shihai City will also be open. He hoped them all work hard to improve. He told students to get good grades on the big test in a week and get into the institution for higher learning of their choice. Lin Moyu was walking outside the academy thinking that the monsters in the newbie upgrade dungeons are concentrated in levels 1, 8. The number is small and the difficulty is very low. It is much safer than the wilderness. Suddenly Shia Shui comes running towards him asking him to wait for him. Shia Shui said to Lin Moyu that she want to compete with him. She asked Lin Moyu to compare the results in the exam. Do he dare to compete? Lin Moyu said, okay to her. Shia Shui said it's a deal then, she won't keep losing to him. Shia Shui was thinking that, although she lost to him again today, she will not be defeated. Sometime later at Lin Moyu's home, Lin Moyu was standing in an old house, staring at an old photo. In that photo, Lin Moyu was happy with his grandmother and sister. Lin Moyu thought of telling his grandma that, he have successfully changed his profession, a super rare hidden profession. He want to tell his sister to wait for him. He will also be admitted to Xiajing Academy. Suddenly there was a knock on his door. It was Principal Lu Yun. He comes to give Lin Moyu his daily supplies. Principal Lu Yun was thinking that last year in Shihai City, only Lin Moyu's older sister Lin Mohan was admitted to Xiajing Academy alone. Principal Lu Yun promised Lin Mohan to take good care of her younger brother before she agreed to go to Xiajing. He have to keep his promise. Lin Mo Yu thanked him for supplies. Principal Lu Yun told Lin Mo Yu that tomorrow he will enter the dungeon for the test, so he should take a good rest. In the midnight, Lin Mo Yu suddenly wakes up when he hears a voice saying, System loading. He was a green color game like system interface in front of his eyes. Lin Mo Yu was surprised. What's happening suddenly? Suddenly, two notification comes that the host has awakened to the necromancer profession. The profession meets the requirements. The strongest talent system is binding. Start to extract the origin of the world. And the optimization of skills is completed. System congratulate Lin Mo Yu for awakening the unique god level talent. Comprehensive increase of level 1. System congratulate him again for obtaining the passive skill, damage transfer. Lin Mo Yu was too surprised seeing all this. He check information about passive skill, damage transfer and overall increase level 1. System told him that, all skill effects are increased by 5 times, and all damage received by the mage himself is taken by the summoner. Lin Mo Yu said that System added a talent and passive skill. This is completely godlike. Lin Mo Yu thought about testing it. He summons a skeleton warrior, 10 spiritual power was used, and a new skeleton warrior was summoned. But this skeleton warrior's all stats were 75. Lin Mo Yu relished that. The attributes of the skeleton warrior have all increased by 5 times. And with the damage transfer skill, he will be invincible at the same level. The next day at the novice leveling dungeon in front of that dungeon, Yang Lin and Lin Mo Yu were standing. Yang Lin asked Lin Mo Yu if he wants to team up with Yang Lin. But Lin Mo Yu rejected him. Yang Lin gets angry calling, Lin Mo Yu prick. He asked Lin Mo Yu if he is looking down at Yang Lin. Yang Lin said that, he invited Lin Mo Yu with all his sincerity. And if Lin Mo Yu don't give him a fair explanation, then Yang Lin will never stop bothering him. Lin Mo Yu told him, Tot, teaming up will make it slow. Going solo is faster to level up. Zia Shui was also there. She that, what Lin Mo Yu said is correct. The experience is equally split between them during corporation. According to the seniors, going solo when they are below level 10 and teaming up after level 10 is the best solution. Principal Lu Yun said to other students that, other than Zia Shui and Lin Mo Yu, the other combat professions will bring support into the dungeon. And don't keep thinking about going solo. They will know afterwards that support is a necessity when they enter the dungeon. At least they are still students. There's no tricks and schemes. A student asked Principal that, why don't they need support? Principal Lu Yun told them that, Zia Shui is aiming for Zia Jing Academy, so she needs to level up fast. Besides, she's an elemental mage. As for Lin Mo Yu, Master Zhang and he don't understand how his ability will be. So those supports can ask if he's willing to team up. 
Other students said that they scared of those undead. Lin Mo Yu was holding a staff which increased spiritual power. Lin Mo Yu said to Principal Lu Yun that he is aiming for Zia Jing Academy too. Lin Mo Yu want to get into Zia Jing Academy too, so it's better that he go solo. Principal Lu Yun asked Lin Mo Yu if he know how hard is it to get into Zia Jing Academy. If he is thinking of getting in, he will have to be at least above level 12, level 15 to be safe before the final trial. Principal Lu Yun told Lin Mo Yu that his sister, Lin Mohan, got into Zia Jing Academy at level 16. Principal Lu Yun asked Lin Mo Yu if he think it's easy to just level up to level 12. In a short week, it'll get harder when he get to level 15. The highest level of monsters in the novice dungeon is only level 8. There's no way he'll get to level 12. Besides, other than his levels, there's a lot of other requirements that will only be revealed during the final trial. Lin Mo Yu said to Principal Lu Yun that he have confidence in himself. When Principal Lu Yun saw him that confidence, he thought that since this kid had a hidden profession, it might actually work. Xia Zi Y was in front of the dungeon. She asked Lin Mo Yu to compete each other to see who's faster. She told him that if he keep quiet, then she'll count him in. Lin Mo Yu thought that Xia Zi Y is very competitive. Both of them goes inside the novice dungeon. When Lin Mo Yu was inside the dungeon, he thought that it used up 10 spirit points when he summoned an undead last night. After meditating for a night, his spirit has recovered to 40 points, so he'll summon another 4 undead knights. Lin Mo Yu point his staff at the dungeon's direction and told his undead skeleton warriors to go find and kill the monsters. All of his warriors goes in different direction. When Lin Mo Yu's one undead warrior killed a Big Ears Rabbit, Lin Mo Yu gets 10 experience points for successfully eliminated Big Ears Rabbit. And then he gets many points as his warrior kill the other monster. Lin Mo Yu thought that every single monster that has been eliminated by the skeleton warrior raises his experience by 1%. So eliminating 100 will be enough for him to level up. It's too productive. His experience has increased by 10% in just a few minutes, and he leveled up in half an hour. Lin Mo Yu gets a system notification that he is now a level 2 necromancer, and now he has 20 undead skeleton warriors summoning space. Now he can even summon a level 2 skeleton warriors. Lin Mo Yu summons another 2, level 2 undead knight, but this level. Two skeleton knights were two and a half times stronger than his level one skeleton warriors. Lin Mo Yu was surprised that, though their stats increased again, the number of skeleton warriors has increased to eight, the productivity of killing monsters and leveling up increased again. He was happy because this is just the beginning. As time pass, Lin Mo Yu gets notification that his skeleton warriors has successfully eliminated level two gray cat. He gets 20 experience point. Then he get a notification that his warrior has successfully eliminated level 3 brown dog. He gets 30 experience point. Then notification comes for successfully eliminated level 4. Blue eyed rat, 40 experience point was given. Lin Mo you find out about a new function. The trace of the skeleton warriors will create a map. Suddenly Lin Mo you saw that there's some monsters that the skeleton warriors missed. It was a good thing. Now he can try out his active skill now. When that level 2 gray cat monster attack Lin Mo Yu, he used his Soul Blaze skill to kill that cat. Soul Blaze is a skill with 5 times of the boost. A level 2 gray cat turns into ashes in seconds. Lin Mo Yu thought that the spiritual attacks are too powerful. It ignores all forms of physical and magical defense. Hidden profession really is powerful. The only two sets of skills are very strong. Even without the boost from the talent, Necromancer won't be any less powerful than any legendary profession. Lin Mo Yu gets another level up. Lots of spiritual power was going inside Lin Mo Yu. He because level 3, Necromancer, Lin Mo Yu smiles. Know that now he is more powerful. He again summons Skeleton Warriors. Lin Mo Yu's Skeleton Warrior started successfully. Eliminated level 5. Green Wolf in level 6 Black Leopard which gives Lin Mo Yu 50 and 60 experience points. Lin Mo Yu was going inside the jungle thinking that the ongoing time for the novice dungeon is 12 hours. Now that 4 hours have passed, he've already reached level 4. If they continue on with this speed, it'll only take less than an hour to level up again. If he is able to get to level 8, he'll go to Shinhai Suburbia. There's more higher level monsters there. On the other hand, outside the dungeon, Principal Lu Yun and Xia Ding Yang, Head of Zia family and Zia Shui's father were talking. Mr. Zia was there to visit Zia Shui right. Mr. Zia thanked Principal Lu for taking care of Zia Shui all these years. Principal Lu Yun said that he did nothing. Zia Shui is very hard working and very smart. The transmutation this time was very successful too. He is sure Mr. Zia must have known. 
It's a rare profession elemental mage, Mr. Zia said to Lu Yun, that it's sad that he was busy yesterday and wasn't able to be there to see Zia Shui's transmutation. Mr. Zia said that he can't miss her first dungeon too. Principal Lin Moyu said to him that Zia Shui's seniors, Su Kaiang Sing and Lin Mohan, both are rare professions. They got to level 5 when they got out of the dungeon. He thinks Zia Shui will be the same as well. Mr. Zia said he hopes so. He said that Zia Shui has been very competitive ever since she was little. Principal Zia Shui said to him that they'll be able to foresee their speed of leveling up in the next few days, judging from how they did on the first day. If Zia Shui isn't able to level up to level 5 on the first day, then it'll be hard for her to get into Zia Jing Academy. Principal Lu Yun was wondering that, what level Lin Moyu is now? Hidden profession won't be far off. He said that, there will be a countdown for everyone once they set foot into the dungeon, and they'll automatically exit the dungeon after 12 hours. If they wait for 12 hours, then they can see how much they leveled up. Mr. Zia said to Principal Lu Yun, that he heard that there was a hidden profession appearing yesterday during the transmutation. Principal Lu Yun told him about Lin Moyu. He said to him that Lin Moyu's transmutation profession is called Necromancer. He then never seen it before, so he is not sure how powerful it is. Moyu's sister is Lin Moyan. If Zia Shui is able to make it into Zia Jing Academy, maybe he can have Lin Moyan look out for her. While they were talking with tea in their hand, inside the dungeon, Lin Moyu successfully eliminated level 7 Brown Bear which gives 70 experience point. Lin Moyu thought that the furthest distance that the skeleton warriors can be away from him is 500 meters. He can just be a FK and wait to level up within this area. Almost 7 hours have passed, and he still haven't seen any level 8 monsters. As Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors were killing the last remaining level 6 and level 7 monsters, Lin Moyu thought about how the other students were doing. When Lin Moyu goes into a dark forest, suddenly something attacked him. Lin Moyu's passive skill damage transfer was activated at that time. The one which attacked Lin Moyu is a level 8, bull whip tree. Lin Moyu finally saw a level 8 monster. Lin Moyu looks at it and thought that the stats of his skeleton warriors have reached 275. Let's see how much damage this tree can take in. A skeleton warrior attacked that bull whip tree with his sword. But Lin Moyu was surprised to see that. That tree monster just die. Lin Moyu gets a notification that he successfully eliminated LV. 8 Bull Whip Tree. He got 160 experience point from it. Lin Moyu told his other skeleton warrior to attack. Lin Moyu relished that. Eliminating a level 8 monster needed 4 slashes. This will greatly decrease his speed of leveling up. But when Lin Moyu looks at the dark forest, he smiles. Because there's already hundreds of Bull Whip Trees within the area that he can see. So this place is leveling up sanctuary specially made for him. All the skeleton warriors goes inside that forest and started killing all the bull whip tree. Sometimes later, outside the dungeon, suddenly the dungeon gate started glowing. A teacher said that, someone's coming out. Others said that, it's weird. The time is not up yet. Could there be any accidents? Principal Lu Yun was thinking that, one must get through the forest guarded by level 8 monsters. In order to find the exit of the domain, could it be? Lin Moyu comes out of the gate. Principal Lu Yun asked him why is he out here. Lin Moyu told him that he killed all the monsters. Principal Lu Yun saw that Lin Moyu is level 7 now. Principal Lu Yun was surprised thinking that Lin Moyu managed to get to level 7 in just a span of 10 hours. Lin Moyu said to Principal Lu Yun that there's two little monsters in there or else he would have been able to get to level 8. He told Principal Lu Yun that he wished to go to Xinhai Suburbia. This is the first time Principal Lu Yun ever heard that there's someone who killed everything in the novice domain and they only use 10 hours. He was thinking, how did Lin Moyu manage to do so? Is this the ability of a necromancer? Principal Lu Yun allowed it. He told Lin Moyu that he'll get him a traveling certificate. Lin Moyu can rest up for a bit. Wait until the rest of the students are out and he'll send them all back. Other teacher, ask Principal Lu Yun that, why did that student get out early? Is there any problem? Is he alright? Why is he alone? Where is his teammate? Mr. Shi asked Lu Yun if he is okay. Principal Lu Yun laughs and told other teachers that, the student is Lin Moyu. He got through the novice dungeon and slaughtered all the level 8 monsters inside. Everyone was shocked to hear that. They started talking that the ability of Necromancer has already surpassed all currently known rare professions. It perfectly fits into the legendary professions. A guy said that he have never seen how powerful legendary professions are, but he know for a fact that there's no way they have that quick of a speed. If a Necromancer is as powerful once they level up, then who knows what future awaits him. Principal Lu Yun said to Mr. Shi, 
that Lin Moi will have a bright future. There's no need for them to worry about him. If he manages to get into Xi Jing Academy then, they'll be the ones having a headache. Mr. Xi said that, Xia Shui has been competitive since she was young. This will have a big impact on her. Principal Lu Yun told Mr. Xi that, not just this time, but Lin Moyu's results have been on top of Xia Shui's for all these years. Xia Shui has been in second place for two years now. Mr. Xi was surprised to hear that, because Xia Shui never told him about that. Lin Moyu was seating on the side thinking that, up until now, the number of skeleton warriors that he'll be able to summon has reached 24, but the summoning space has already increased to 70 spots. If you were to think of occupying all the spots, then it'll need quite some time. Suddenly, Zayashui comes out of the dungeon saying, she won't lose this time, she have already reached level 5. Basically the standard of the novice dungeon's record. She was looking for Lin Moyu when she was Lin Moyu. She was confused that, when did he get out? But when she saw that Lin Moyu is level 7, she was too shocked. How is that possible? How could he be level 7? Mr. Shi called Zaya Shui from there. Car, Zaya Shui was surprised to see her dad. Mr. Shi asked Zaya Shui if she is still competing with Lin Moyu. Zaya Shui said to her father that Lin Moyu is a total bastard. He's been more powerful than her for the past three years. Her father asked her, do she need help? Zaya Shui said no, SHJE said to him, that this is her thing, she won't keep losing to Lin Moyu. Mr. Shi told Zaya Shui that Lin Moyu got out of the dungeon in 10 hours, and he killed all the level 8 monsters in the dungeon. To do so she might need some help. Zaya Shui was too shocked when she heard that. Lin Moyu killed all the level 8 monsters. Zaya Shui thought that, she just got to the area of level 7 monsters, and she didn't even get to see a single level 8 monster. Besides, Lin Moyu got out 2 hours early. If there's more monsters in there, does that mean he'll be able to reach level 8? On the other hand, when Yang Lin saw that Lin Moyu is level 7 now, he started calling him Boss Lin Moyu, asking him if he can bring Yang Lin with him. He was begging to Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu told him that he will do so next time. Yang Lin's eyes started glowing. He said to Lin Moyu that he'll wait for him at the school entrance tomorrow. But the next day, when Yang Lin goes to school entrance, Lin Moyu was not there. Principal Lu Yun told Yang Lin that Lin Moyu went to Xinhai suburbia. Yang Lin gets angry when he realized that Lin Moyu fooled him. He shouted that he'll battle Lin Moyu. But Principal Lu Yun told Yang Lin to give up because he can't win against Lin Moyu in the Shenzia Empire Exchange. Lin Moyu placed his hand on a moonstone to verify that he is a citizen of Shenzia Empire with the level 1 authority and zero contribution points. Then Lin Moyu goes to see if there's any mission suitable for him. Lin Moyu saw some interesting mission. They were for collecting unlimited amount of green sprout grass, price 50 gold portion, collecting unlimited amount of black wolf skin, price 20 gold portion, collecting unlimited amount of beast bone price, 30 gold slash portion. Lin Moyu thought that there's quite a lot of gold given for this mission. It'll probably be quite difficult. Domain's difficulty is categorized into normal nightmare and hell. Normal difficulty is to kill some goblins. The nightmare difficulty is many times harder than the normal one. It'll be impossible to pass without a strong team. As for hell difficulty, it's not something that normal professions could take on. And it looks like Lin Moyu can't take on this mission of hell difficulty for now. Before leaving the city, city guard checked Lin Moyu. Level 7. Necromancer Identification Card. That guard thought that, what profession is a necromancer, and which academy is this allowing a level 7 out of town? That guard told Lin Moyu that, Lin Moyu's traveling certificate has been active. He'll be able to travel freely around the cities of the Shenxia Empire from now on. Guard told Lin Moyu that, there will be a lot of monsters out there so, mind your own safety and be extra cautious, especially at night. If he encounter any danger, he is allowed to return. His life matters the most. Lin Moyu thanked him and said he will do that. Out off the city walls there is a wasteland. That was not just a wall, it's two different worlds in and outside of the city. Lin Moyu could hear the beasts growling from afar. Even the air is flowing with the smell of blood. A goblin was hiding behind a rock. Lin Moyu felt that goblin's presence. He told his skeleton warrior to go, kill that goblin. That goblin jumped at Lin Moyu. It was a level 10 goblin. But Lin Moyu knows that. A level 10 goblin is practically nothing to a skeleton warrior with stats of 375. When that goblin hit Lin Moyu's black iron skeleton warrior, it did no damage to the warrior. That goblin gets scared. Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior killed that goblin. Suddenly a group of those goblin attacked Lin Moyu. All Lin Moyu's warriors started killing those monsters. Lin Moyu was standing there doing nothing. 
Lin Moi was thinking about the capability of a level 10 goblin. If he managed to keep up with this speed, he'll probably be able to get to level 15 by the final trial. Lin Moi was thinking that, his sister got to level 16 before the final trial, how did she do that? When Lin Moi thought about the happy days he spent with his sister, he said he will get into Xiajing Academy for his sister. Lin Moi level up for level 7 to level 10. There's not a big change in the other stats. Every time it levels up, it'll only increase by 10. But Lin Moi's spirit is at 300, increased by 120 points. It is said that, there will be a huge boost after reaching level 10. Lin Moi belong in the mage profession. So the biggest boost is spirit. Lin Moyu never thought that he'll reach level 10 so quickly. Lin Moyu's talent has become stronger too. Skeleton Warriors has leveled up to bronze. Bronze Skeleton Warriors are at level 10, with 15 stats, not just that. A bronze Skeleton Warrior have an active rage skill. Lin Moyu said that, it seems like he'll be able to rule this area with his bronze Skeleton Warrior. But when Lin Moyu looks around, he find out that he cleared all the monsters around here. Suddenly a arrow comes towards Lin Moyu. That arrow hit Lin Moyu on the shoulder. Lin Moyu's passive skill damage transfer was activated. The damage was transferred to his skeleton warrior. Lin Moyu saw a girl running past him. Lin Moyu thought, who's this? But when Lin Moyu looks at her clothes, he relished that. It's probably an assassin profession and the one who attacked me might be an archer profession. That girl run away from there, after that. Two man, one with a magic staff, and one with bow comes towards Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu knows that, it's them who attacked him. Lin Moyu removed that arrow. Thinking that, their direction is wrong, they'll never get that assassin. That magician guy said to other that, that person is cunning, and an assassin too, probably escaped. The guy with the bow called Lin Moyu kid, and asked him if he saw a person with black clothes passing by. Lin Moyu asked that guy to apologize, because his arrow hit Lin Moyu. That bow guy said sorry to Lin Moyu thinking that, Lin Moyu got hit by his arrow, but somehow he's fine. Lin Moyu told him to just don't do it again. The bow guy looks at Lin Moyu angrily because, he is not in a good mood. But when the other guy saw that, there is a skeleton warrior beside Lin Moyu. He thought that Lin Moyu is a undead summons. He said that, only the ones who are hidden criminals with dark mentality would be able to awaken such disgusting professions of summoning the undead. He said to the other guy that, Lin Moyu is definitely not some good guy. Bow guy told him to stop it. Both of them left for there, Lin Moyu said to them that, they should consider their Sai self lucky. Lin Moyu was about to summon all his skeleton warriors, he was thinking that, if they did something, they'll get it back 100 times worse. After some time, Lin Moyu seats on a rock. As his skeleton soldiers were killing the level 10 and level 11 goblins, Lin Moyu was thinking taut. The experience points are decreasing. After level 10, the experience needed to level up has increased by 3 times. According to Lin Moyu's calculations, he'll have to kill 5, 0 goblins in order to raise 1 level. He don't think he'll be able to reach level 11 tonight, even if the skeleton warrior kept on killing without exhaustion. It was afternoon already. Lin Moyu thought that, there's not much time, he can't go back. Lin Moyu thought that, if you want to get into Shiajing Academy, he have to put in more effort than others. At night, Lin Moyu light up a fire in the forests. Lin Moyu was seating in front of the fire thinking that, based on the current speed of leveling up, he'll be able to reach around level 13 by tomorrow. But it's still unclear if he'll be able to get to level 15 by the day after. After reaching level 15, the speed of leveling up will decrease as well. Leaving out a day to make it back, he'll only be able to reach level 16 at max. Lin Moyu thought that, how did his sister manage to level up that time? He knows she's a sword dancer in the legendary profession, but there's no way she could surpass how fast Lin Moyu level up. He thought that he must have missed something. He thought that, in Shihai Mines dungeon, could his sister have teamed up with other people and raid the nightmare difficulty dungeon that has more XP. That's why she was wounded when she made it back that time. He thought that, his guess might be correct. So he decided to go take a look tomorrow. Suddenly there was a sound of someone's footsteps. Lin Moyu and his skeleton warriors gets alert. Lin Moyu thought that, it's a leveling professional. But there's not a lot of people who would be leveling here at midnight. Are they lost? It was the same assassin who Lin Moyu saw this morning. That assassins ask Lin Moyu if he have any food. Lin Moyu give that assassins a sweet potato. That assassin removed his mask. Behind that mask, a beautiful face was covered. That girl immediately started eating that sweet potato without cooling it down. Lin Moyu looks at her and thought that, she's very hungry. Suddenly food got stuck in her mouth. Lin Moyu gave her water to drink. After drinking the water, that girl thanked Lin Moyu and asked him about his name. 
Lin Moyu didn't say anything to her. That girl said to Lin Moyu that, if Lin Moyu don't like talking, then why don't they analyze skills with each other? Both Lin Moyu and that assassin girl touch each other's fingertips to analytic skill. But Lin Moyu got a notification that, analysis failed. It didn't get any information. That assassin girl laughed saying Lin Moyu didn't get anything. That assassin girl looks at Lin Moyu's information. She finds out that, his name is Lin Moyu, level 10. And his occupation is necromancer. She said she then never heard of this occupation before, calling it strange. That girl asked Lin Moyu that. She saw Lin Moyu have a skeleton standing next to his during the afternoon. Is that his summon? She said that, undead summons is extremely rare. That girl asked Lin Moyu that, why don't he talk? Is he muted though he don't look like it? Lin Moyu asked her why. That assassin girl gets excited when she finds out that, Lin Moyu can talk. Lin Moyu asked her again, why? That girl asked Lin Moyu, if he is asking why Lin Moyu's analytic skill didn't work out. She saw Lin Moyu a badge and told Lin Moyu that, it's a blocking badge. As long as one have it, anyone who's not 10 levels above him, won't be able to use analytic skill on him. That girl put that badge aside and asked Lin Moyu to now try using the analytic skill on her again. Lin Moyu used his analytic skill again, and that assassin girl's information pop up in front of Lin Moyu. That girl is Ning Yi, a level 19 shadow assassin. Suddenly, Lin Moyu and Ning Yi felt three other guys' presence. Those people are the same bow user and magician who Lin Moyu meet in the morning with another shield user. Lin Moyu's skeleton has already detected them. They were thinking of surrounding Lin Moyu and Ning Yi. Ning Yi said, aren't they done? It's just a mid-rank skill scripture. They've been going for her for days and they still haven't given up. Ning Yi said to Lin Moyu that, she is going. She'll find him if she have the chance next time. Suddenly, an arrow comes flying towards Ning Yi. Ning Yi dodged that arrow. That arrow hit the ground. There was some kind of spiritual blast from that arrow and a red arrow mark a pair above Lin Moyu and Ning Yi. That bow user guy smiles because it was a marking arrow. Ning Yi said that, this is a problem now. Lin Moyu thought that, that archer has anti-invisibility skills. This skill will be able to mark the target, making them easy to target and unable to enter invisibility. Especially made to counterpart with assassins and monsters that have an invisibility power. They seems like prepared. That magician come from behind and said to Lin Moyu, that there is nowhere to run this time. Bo user guy was on the tree. He said to Lin Moyu, that he knew it. Lin Moyu and Ning Yi are a team. Magician said that, a disgusting rat assassin and a malicious dark and dying summoner make a pretty good duo. Ning Yi said to them, that Lin Moyu is not a part of this. She'll give them the skill scripture and they'll go their separate ways. That bow user said to her, that it would have been fine if she did it a day before. But now, they feel like it's safer to just kill her. Dead people could never talk. No one will ever know they have the mid-rank skill scripture. Ning Yi said to Lin Moyu, that she'll buy them some time he can run. Ning Yi was thinking that Lin Moyu is only level 10. She can't drag him with her for something she had done. Ning Yi told Lin Moyu that, she is a shadow assassin and beneath the night is where she dance. She have her ways to get out of this. Lin Moyu looks at her and thought that, ah he wouldn't be running away during daytime if she really is capable. Obviously they're more powerful. Plus she's already marked, so her invisibility skill is gone. That bow user guy told her to cut the crap. He said to his party, to not waste any time and get her. That magician raised his staff and said that, he don't just want Ning Yi life today, he want Lin Moyu to be dead too. He used his illumination skill. Magician thought that, illumination skill wasn't only used to illuminate, it'll chase away the darkness, increasing the range of his ability. The most important part is that it'll be a counterpart with assassin's invisibility skill. He called Ning Yi theft said, she is a dead piece of meat now. Ning Yi gets ready to fight saying she have to give it all now. Also, all three of them gets ready to attack Lin Moyu and Ning Yi. Those three guys were about to attack. Lin Moyu summons his skeleton warrior, magician gets angry, saying what a waste of energy. Undying, disgusting summons. That magician attacked Lin Moyu with his blazing fireballs. He said that, this is the skill of a level 20 mage. He'll blow up Lin Moyu into ashes. Ning Yi grabbed Lin Moyu's hand telling him to run. Suddenly, Ning Yi saw that her leg was already tied with spiritual strings. She was confused. That when did that happen? That bow user launched three arrow at her, triple shots with triple the damage. Ning Yi saw those area out coming. She pushed Ning Yi away to save him. But she was shocked because he pushed Lin Moyu towards that magician's fireball attack. Suddenly, the skeleton warriors appear front and behind Ning Yi. One stopped the fireball, another stopped the arrows. Another skeleton warriors appear in front of the shield user and kicked him. That shield guy flew away. 
That skeleton warrior who got hit by the fireball didn't take any damage. That magician was too scared saying, how could this be? Analytics skill shows that Lin Moyu is just a level 10 necromancer. He was telling that skeleton warrior to don't come near him. Magician thought that he, a level 21 mage, Lin Moyu is just a level 10. Why couldn't he kill Lin Moyu? Other guys were also surprised thinking what was that there. Skills have no effect on that summon, why would a summon have such high stats? Suddenly, some kind of blue flame appear above all three of those guys. All of them were too scared to shoot an army of undead skeleton warriors, though skeleton warriors surrounded them. Ningyi was too surprised. She was thinking that, are those really the skeleton warriors that she's seen before? They're broken, but why are they so strong? Are these really a level 10 Seth summon? How does a level 20 mage and archer's skill deal no damage to them? When she was their numbers, she thought that, isn't this a bit too much? She looks behind her. Lin Moyu was there. Lin Moyu opens his eyes. There was blue and green flames in his eyes. Lin Moyu used his comprehensive increased skill. All the skeleton warriors attacked those three guys. Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors attacked that magician. That magician form a magic barrier. But Lin Moyu's level, 10 skeleton warriors attack easily destroyed magician's barrier. When that barrier shattered, Magician used his flame barrier to attack those skeleton. Magician thought that, he can kill those undead skeleton with fire. But his fire attack did nothing to those skeleton warriors. Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors killed that Magician by cutting him into pieces. That archer was running away from there when he saw that Magician dying. A skeleton warriors was chasing that archer. Archer was thinking that, his agility attribute is obviously 1000. Why can't he get away from these skeletons? But he don't know that Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior's agility is 15-0. Archer thought that, it's impossible for him escape. On the other hand, that shield knight was using extreme defense skill to defend himself and running away. Lin Moyu was surprised because he didn't expect that knight to have extreme defense skill. This is one of the core skill of a knight. For a short period of time, the defense will become extremely strong. A level 20 knight performing this skill is able to withstand the attacks of a level 40 mage. A knight with extreme defense and a knight without extreme defense are like two different professions. That knight was thinking that, why are these skeleton warriors so scary? If he had known he wouldn't have come here, losing his life for an intermediate skill scroll is not worth it at all. Lin Moyu told his skeleton warrior to use skill to stop that knight and archer from running. Lin Moyu can't let them escape. Since Hiva already killed, he might as well clean up everything else nicely. Skeleton Warrior used Berserk Strike skill. Berserk Strike inflicts 200% of its own strength on the target. Their sword was on fire. Skeleton Warrior attacked that knight. That knight was surprised because he didn't know that. They can use skills too. That knight knows that. Extreme defense can last up to one minute. But the more intense the attack, the shorter it will last. He is almost at his limit. At last that knight's extreme defense skill fall. He was surrounded by those skeleton warriors. Lin Moyu, remembering his sister telling him that, if he set his mind to do something, then do it and never hesitate. Ningyi was surprised because they're all dead. But she was more surprised to see that Lin Moyu didn't even move an inch to do all that. All the skeleton warriors returned to Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu knows that, when a professional dies, the items in their storage space will drop. She goes to see what they have. He got a bronze rank Carmen staff. It can increase spirit by 20 and the power of mage skills by 5%. But it's available after level 18. He also got a bronze rank Carmen's battle bow. It can increase agility by 20 and can increase the power of bow and arrow skills by 5%. Available after level 18. He also got a bronze rank Carmen's shield. That can increase physique by 20 and can increase defense skills by 5%. Available after level 18 and a bronze rank Carmen's sword, which can increase strength by 10, stamina by 10, and can increase the power of magic attack skills by 5%. Available after level 18. When Ningyi saw those things, she told Lin Moyu that, these are the weapons dropped in the dungeon of Carmen's Orc Legion. That is a level 20 dungeon outside Xiaohai City. The three of them must have gone there often. Lin Moyu thought that these four pieces of equipment are useless. They can be sold for some money. So he put them in his portable storage. Lin Moyu also got a primary skill scroll. Lin Moyu knows that this is a scroll worth 10, 0 gold coins. It's very valuable. He was thinking, should he sell it or use it? From primary skill scroll, one can obtain skills below level 20, and it is possible to obtain acquired skills. Ningyi asked Lin Moyu if Lin Moyu have ever had a primary scroll. He told him that he should use it, although he might get a skill he've already learned. There's also chance of learning new skills. She asked Lin Moyu that, he won't sell it for money, will he? Is he that desperate for money? 
she told Lin Moyu that it's only a primary skill scroll, not an advanced one. It's not worth much actually. Lin Moyu was thought that for Ning Yi 10, zero gold is not worth much. Looks like her background isn't normal. Lin Moyu asked her how do we use it. Ning Yi told him that it's simple. Just say use while holding the scroll. Lin Moyu while holding that scroll said use, but nothing happened. Ning Yi while laughing told Lin Moyu that he said it too softly. He need to say it louder in order for it to work. Lin Moyu realized that she is fooling him. It looks like to Lin Moyu that it's a scroll that requires spiritual energy to activate. Lin Moyu injected his spiritual energy into that scroll. It started glowing. Ning Yi was confused that how did he find out how to use scroll? Lin Moyu got a message that he have acquired a skill. Corpse Explosion This skill explodes corpses and deals 10% of damage to enemies within a meter. Lin Moyu thought that he got a new skill, so this scroll wasn't that bad. To a necromancer, corpses also contain life. Even though this skill might look weak, if it factor in his talent, its radius will increase to 10 meters after being enhanced. And as long as one corpse explodes, it can set off a chain explosion from the corpses of those that died to the explosion. This is an invincible AoE skill. Lin Moyu knows that, because of his talent, all of his skills have become divine skills. Ningyi asked Lin Moyu if he learned a new skill. Lin Moyu replied her with yes. Ningyi asked Lin Moyu that, he have a nice voice so why don't he talk a lot? Lin Moyu look at Ningyi thinking, this girl is a bit different from those girls in school. Lin Moyu told Ningyi that, she have a nice voice too. Ningyi thanked Lin Moyu for compliment. She said she know her voice is very nice too. As repayment for saving her and even complimenting her, Ningyi give Lin Moyu a treasure box. In that box there was an intermediate skill scroll. With that scroll one can obtain skills between level 40 and level 70. And it is possible to obtain acquired skills. When Lin Moyu saw that scroll, he thought that this is something worth 1 million. It's 100 times more expensive than the primary skill scroll. This is too precious. Lin Moyu look at Ningyi thinking, wasn't she chased because of this scroll? And now she's just giving it away. Ning Yo seats in front of the fire and told Lin Moyu that he discovered a hidden chest when he was in Carmen's dungeon at Shehai City. These kinds of chests appear randomly and he was just lucky enough to chance upon one. She obtained the intermediate skill scroll after opening the chest. But she don't knew that she was being watched by those bastards. They wanted to snatch it away from her. And even though the scroll isn't worth much, how is she supposed to just hand over something that she found herself? So they chased after her as she tried to escape. After running for two days from Shehai City to Shehai City, they were still on her like stink bugs. It was too annoying. Lin Moyu asked her that. She almost died just now because of that scroll. Ningyi told Lin Moyu to relax. If she receive critical damage, she'll be automatically teleported away. But she still thank Lin Moyu. If it wasn't for him, she would have gotten hurt. Ningyi act like she is scared, saying it's painful when one get hurt so she is scared of getting hurt the most. Lin Moyu thought that he was worried for nothing. She must be the young lady of some big family and had a treasure that can save her if needed. Ningyi said to Lin Moyu that that intermediate skill scroll is his now. She asked him, do we have anything else to eat? Saying she was hungry. Lin Moyu had a sweet potato. She asked him for that. Ningyi asked Lin Moyu if he is here to farm his levels. Looking at his level now, he haven't gone to university, she asked him. Which one is he planning to go? Lin Moyu told her that. He is planning on going to Xiajing University. While eating that sweet potato, Ningyi thought that with Lin Moyu's skill, he should be able to get into any university. Can an ordinary level 10 easily kill level 20 professionals? And not just one at that. If he can't get into Xiajing University, then basically no one else can. Ningyi told Lin Moyu that if he go to Xiajing University, he should remember to head to their Shenxia Tower. The first clear will give him double the rewards, so he need to clear as many floors as possible in his first try. That way, he'll get a lot of points. In Xiajing, points are the equivalent of gold coins. And there is also a creation seminary in Xiajing. So if he can, he must go there. After telling him everything, Ningyi fall asleep. Lin Moyu do meditation to recover his spiritual energy. The next day, when Ningyi wakes up, she was very hungry. She asked Lin Moyu if he still have potatoes. Lin Moyu give her some potatoes, but it's not enough for her. She asked Lin Moyu to give her more. Ningyi said to Lin Moyu that, being the big man here, he should be generous and give her everything. Lin Moyu told her that there's really none left. Ningyi smiles and told him that she'll believe him. Ningyi while leaving told Lin Moyu that he'll be going now to raise his level as well. She told him to let's meet again next time. She told Lin Moyu that he should quickly level up too, so that they can level up together. When Ningyi left from there, Lin Moyu goes to those people's dead bodies. Lin Moyu wants to try out his new skill that he acquired. 
Lin Moyu used his corpse explosion skill on those dead bodies. There was a huge blast in those corpses. After being enhanced by Lin Moyu talent, the area of effect has increased by a lot. It's unstoppable. It's basically a divine skill. Now Lin Moyu now knows that from this perspective, detonating it in the air might even be more powerful. Lin Moyu decided that he should go try it out at the Shihai Mine Dungeon. While walking, Lin Moyu was thinking that, after the skeleton warrior transitions from black iron to bronze, it takes 70 spirit points to summon one, and Lin Moyu total spirit points now is only 300. After recovering his spirit last night, Lin Moyu can summon four more skeleton warriors. Lin Moyu's summoning space is now 100, and he has 48 skeleton warriors. Lin Moyu said that, there's no need to rush. Sooner or later his summoning space will become full. From a mountain, Lin Moyu saw the entrance to the Shihai Mine, in front of Shihai Mine. Many hunters were gathered to find themselves a good party member. When Lin Moyu goes there with his skeleton warrior, everyone gets out of his way. Lin Moyu got a system message from Shihai Mine to choose the difficulty, normal or nightmare. Lin Moyu knows that, even though there isn't a hell difficulty, there are elite monsters present in the normal difficulty already, and they are a few times stronger than other monsters outside. In the nightmare level, the elite monsters are enhanced, and it's a lot more difficult to clear. In order to clear the normal difficulty, it's good to have a tank, damage dealer and healer. And for nightmares, difficulty there needs to be at least 5 people in a party. Double support and double damage dealers. Another hunter approach, Lin Moyu asking him if he is a summoner. That hunter uses dousing ability on Lin Moyu to check his level, but he got a message that, due to having a shielding badge, the detection technique has failed. That hunter also got scared for the gauge of Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior. Everyone started asking Lin Moyu if you want to clear the dungeon with them. Lin Moyu was thinking that, it's good that Yi gave him that shielding badge. If not, things would have gotten really troublesome. Lin Moyu rejected their offers. Lin Moyu gets a message to confirm that Hiva selected nightmare difficulty. Lin Moyu said, confirm to system. Suddenly Lin Moyu disappeared from there. Other hunter were shocked to see that Lin Moyu went in alone. They decide to wait and see whether he comes out alive. They were thinking that, maybe Lin Moyu just wanted to show off and will come running back like a coward. Inside the Shihai mining dungeon, Lin Moyu was standing in a safety zone with his skeleton warrior. Lin Moyu could smell strong smell of blood in there. Lin Moyu know that, he'll be discovered by monsters the moment he step out of that circle. Lin Moyu checked the stats of Goblin Mine Guard which is an enhanced elite level, 14 monster. Lin Moyu said that, it's undoubtedly an enhanced elite monster. Its attributes are several times higher than ordinary monsters. Its strength and physique are extremely high but their attack power and defense are very abnormal. Lin Moyu summons his other skeleton warrior Lin Moyu was thinking that, the constitution of a level 14 knight, will only be around 300, 400, completely unmatched for an enhanced elite monster. A normal professional, will have no way of clearing this dungeon if they don't form a party. But compared to Lin Moyu's skeletons, the enhanced mine goblin's attributes are nothing. Lin Moyu goes forward and told his skeleton warrior to let's go. Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior attacked that goblin and killed that level. 14 goblin easily. Lin Moyu get got 42 experience point for killing a level 14 goblin mine guard. Lin Moyu was surprised to get 42 experience. That's 10 times higher than monsters of the same level for outside. In other words, killing one monster in here is equivalent to killing 10 outside. Lin Moyu ordered his skeleton warrior to go and kill all the monster in the mine. Lin Moyu was thinking that, it only takes a few seconds to kill one monster, his leveling speed will definitely increase by a lot. Lin Moyu could see the monsters in the map, he said, he won't leave a single one alive. Time pass, Lin Moyu was getting many system message that his skeleton warrior has killed a goblin or other monster. And at last Lin Moyu level up, now he is level 11. Lin Moyu was surprised that Hiva reached level 11 in 5 minutes after leveling up. His spirit recovers and he can summon 4 more skeleton warriors. Now he has 56 skeleton warrior. His skeleton warrior also because level 11 and all his skills also level up. Lin Moyu said that, after level 10, the increase in basic attributes has increased. Strength and agility used to increase by 10 every level. But now, they increased by 20 points. 100 for spirit. Lin Moyu thought that, with the increase of level, the increase of attribute points will also get higher. The basic attributes of bronze level skeleton. Warriors also increased by 20 and after being boosted 10 times, it becomes 200. But Lin Moyu's new skill corpse explosion didn't level up. Lin Moyu was thinking, why did all his skills increase except for the one he just learned? 
Lin Moyu thought that, if Ningyu was here, she might know. Lin Moyu gets a message that area completed is level 11 and on 38%. Suddenly, Lin Moyu felt a strong force coming towards him. That force was coming from a level 15 Mine Wolf King's Roar skill. Lin Moyu was surprised because even the leader's attributes were so high. The attributes of the last boss are enhanced even further. Lin Moyu said that, even though Wolf King's attributes are higher than Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors, Wolf King still won enemy against many of Lin Moyu warriors. Lin Moyu order his skeleton warriors to advance. When Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior goes to attack that Wolf King, it uses his roar skill. Lin Moyu knows that, the skeleton warrior's constitution should still be able to endure the Wolf King's attack. Those skeleton warrior used their rage, strike skill and started attacking that wolf king. Lin Moyu said that, the bigger the enemy, the more advantageous it is for his skeleton warriors. That wolf king again used his roar skill. All the skeleton warriors fly away for that wolf. Lin Moyu said that, the attack power of that skill isn't much but it's quite good at sending things flying. That wolf king runs away. Lin Moyu was surprised because he don't know that. A dungeon boss can actually run away. Lin Moyu felt that something is wrong, he told his skeleton warriors. Retreat. There were many red eyes looking at Lin Moyu for the cave in front. Those were level 14 mining wolf and lot of them at once. Lin Moyu know that, they're not strong but they have numbers. At least 100 of them, Lin Moyu thought that. Ordinary professionals even in a team of 5 cannot cope with so many mining wolves but he is a necromancer, and these are all his experience points. Lin Moyu get 28 experience points for killing one mining wolf. Lin Moyu use his corpse explosion skill. There was a huge blast there. Lin Moyu knows that. After the talent enhancement, the damage dealt by the skill will take away 100% of the wolf's health. The result will be instant kill. Almost every mining wolf died in that attack. Lin Moyu goes form his level. 1138% to 77%. That wolf king appear again. Lin Moyu said to that wolf king that he is a fair person. So wolf king should have a taste of his skill as well. Lin Moyu use his skill on that wolf king. That Wolf King's body blast and it died. Lin Moyu was surprised because it only gave him 15 0 experience, equivalent to 5 fierce wolves. The cost effectiveness was too low, but luckily the dropped items are still quite valuable. Lin Moyu said that, if he keep clearing this passage he should soon encounter the final boss of the dungeon. Lin Moyu said that, in the future, if he go to hell level dungeons for solo clearing, he should gain more experience. Lin Moyu gets a message that a level 15 goblin elite warrior killed. Experience 45 0. Lin Moyu was thinking that, he vet leveled up about one time in just over an hour. Based on this efficiency, it is possible to clear a few more rounds and reach level 19. Lin Moyu saw level 16 Goblin King sleeping. Lin Moyu said that, he should reach level 12 after killing this guy. He said to the Goblin King that, it's time to wake up. When Lin Moyu looks at that Goblin King's stats, it was as Lin Moyu expected of the final boss. Its strength and constitution is a lot higher than Lin Moyu's skeletons. Suddenly that Goblin opens it. Red eyes and attacked Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu's damage transfer skill got activated. The damage which Lin Moyu get, get transferred to his skeleton warrior. Two of Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior died instead. Lin Moyu was surprised to see that. Goblin King killed two skeletons in one hit. Skeleton warriors use their rage strike skill. Lin Moyu look at the fight. He understand now that his attributes are too weak. His defense is way too weak against the constitution of 3000. The damage taken that's transferred over will naturally be shouldered by the health of Lin Moyu's skeletons. Lin Moyu said, looks like his weakness is he himself. He'll have to increase his constitution in the future. Goblin King's average stats were 25-0. On the other hand, Bronze Skeleton Warriors. Average stats were 17-0. It looks like a skeleton warrior can't compare to the boss in terms of strength. But don't forget that Lin Moyu have an arm of them. Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors surrounded the Goblin King. Lin Moyu thought that, if it goes on like this, Goblin King will be crushed by his skeleton army. But that Goblin King jumped high in the sky. All the skeletons fall off from him. That Goblin King uses shockwave attack and smash the ground. When Lin Moyu saw that attack he thought that, the shockwave skill is way more powerful than the Wolf King's roar. Goblin King started using fire breath on Lin Moyu's skeleton. Because of the fire skeleton warrior's physique started decreasing. Lin Moyu told his skeleton warriors to return to the summoning space. Lin Moyu knows that, he need to interrupt Goblin King's skill. Lin Moyu used Soul Flame to counter-attack Goblin King's fire breath. Soul Flames put Goblin King's body on fire. Lin Moyu only has 40 spirit power. He knows that, he don't have much spirit left, so he need to defeat the Goblin King now. 
Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors used rage strike skill and jumped at Goblin King with their swords. And finally they got the Goblin King. Lin Moyu get a message that Goblin King has been killed. Lin Moyu get 40,000 experience point. He also obtained Goblin King's core. Lin Moyu finally reached level 12. Lin Moyu thanked God that his spirit was replenished from the level up because he used it all up just now. Lin Moyu said it's about time to leave the dungeon. Before leaving Lin Moyu, wear the wisdom robe that he got after clearing the dungeon. Lin Moyu knows that, even though a necromancer is considered a mage profession, Lin Moyu's skills are very different from a mage. Lin Moyu thought that, this Goblin King's core is about $10,000. That's about the price of two equipment. Lin Moyu said, that the rewards of this dungeon are pretty good. After leveling up and having his spirit replenished, Lin Moyu can summon four skeleton warriors again. And he do so. Lin Moyu returned from the dungeon with his skeleton warrior. Everyone was too shocked to see that Lin Moyu has solo cleared the dungeon. While walking Lin Moyu thought that, the dungeon cooldown is 12 hours but hunting wild animals give too little experience. Killing 10 isn't even worth one of the dungeon monster. He will just wait for the dungeon to open again and use this time to meditate and recover his spirit power. Lin Moyu sit below a tree to rest and his skeleton warrior was guarding him. From the recent dungeon, Lin Moyu figured out his biggest weakness and understood how his skills work. Lin Moyu was thinking that, if he can utilize the corpse explosion properly, it's an invincible skill. For the soul flame, not only can it interrupt an enemy's skill, it also ignores the enemy's defense. A nightmare level boss won't be able to fight well against it. Twelve hours later, Lin Moyu wakes up now he can summon four skeleton warriors again. Lin Moyu started going towards the dungeon. He saw some people there, he thought that, these people usually gather outside the wilderness, so they're quite experienced. But when he thought about Nengni, she was just too unique. When Lin Moyu goes to dungeon entrance, he saw many people have gathered there. Lin Moyu was confused thinking what's going on. The guy was arguing with hunters of Dynasty Guild. He said to them that, isn't the Dynasty Guild being too unfair? What gives Dynasty Guild the right to stop them from entering the dungeon? Other player also started shouting that, the dungeon is not the property of the Dynasty Guild. Them going into the dungeon isn't going to affect Dynasty Guild. Dynasty Guild's team leader told other hunter that, their guild leader is completing a task inside the dungeon. No one is allowed inside until he's done. Another hunter who was in front of Dynasty Guild's team leader shouted that, the Dynasty Guild is just abusing their power. Dynasty Guild's team leader attacked that hunter with a fire attack. That hunter flew away from there. Other hunters saw that he's dead. They all were scared saying how could he just kill a hunter. Dynasty Guild's hunter while laughing, asked to other hunters that, what if they kill a useless man? If those hunters have the guts, then come and take revenge on them. Other hunters were angry, but scared at the same time. At that Lin Moyu goes there. Ask a hunter what's going on. When that hunter saw Lin Moyu, he recognized that. Lin Moyu is the guy that solo cleared the dungeon. That hunter told Lin Moyu that, the dynasty guild needs the Goblin King's core. But the drop rate of that is very low. It will only drop in the nightmare level, and will only appear once in a 100 days. Today should be the 100th day since the last drop. That's why they're making a move now. Right now, the guild leader is clearing monsters inside and not letting anyone else in. That hunter told Lin Moyu that, the task to get the Goblin King's core was actually made by the Dynasty Guild. But until now, no one has done it. The Goblin King's core is worth at least 30,000 gold putting 10,000 gold, as the price is just dirty of them, and only a fool would sell it to them at that price. When Lin Moyu listened to what that hunter said, Lin Moyu thought, what a coincidence. Lin Moyu got the Goblin King's core last time. Lin Moyu asked that hunter about the use of a core. That hunter told Lin Moyu that, it can be made into a Goblin King's ring. All attributes increase by 10, and all skill levels increase by 1. It can be used from level 15 onwards, and is the strongest accessory to have below level 40. Lin Moyu thought that, this is a powerful ring. To a beginner, it would seem like an overpowered accessory to have. That hunter told Lin Moyu that, the guild leader of the Dynasty Guild is aiming for Xiajing Academy. That's why he wants the ring so badly. Their guild isn't lacking an alchemist, and have already collected all the materials needed. All they need now is just the Goblin King's core. After listening that hunter, Lin Moyu started going towards the dungeon entrance thinking whatever it is, they're getting in his way of leveling up. That hunter tried to stop Lin Moyu saying that, they can't stand up to the Dynasty Guild. If they do, they'll die. Team leader of Dynasty Guild was stepping on that dead hunter's dead body. When he saw Lin Moyu coming, he asked Lin Moyu if he is here to die too. Lin Moyu looks at Dynasty Guild's team leader angry and told him to get lost, saying they're blocking Lin Moyu's way. 
Dynasty Guild's team leader kicked that hunter's dead body and called Lin Moyu. Little shit. He asked Lin Moyu if he knocked his head on the wall. Do he know who he is talking to? Lin Moyu again. Look at him angrily and told him to get lost. Dynasty Guild's team leader uses appraisal skill on Lin Moyu and find out that Lin Moyu is a level 12 necromancer. Team leader said Lin Moyu that Lin Moyu is a level 12 rookie who can't understand words. He asked Lin Moyu that Lin Moyu can just kill monsters outside. Why do we need to enter the dungeon? Another Dynasty Guild's hunter laughs and said necromancer. What kind of profession is that even? Lin Moyu was walking towards Dynasty Guild's hunter. Other hunters tried to stop Lin Moyu saying that. The Dynasty Guild doesn't listen to reason and won't hesitate to kill. Lin Moyu was going forward while looking at the Dynasty Guild's team leader. Angrily, team leader was shocked to see that. Lin Moyu isn't scared of him. Even Lin Moyu's gaze make team leader feel nervous. Team leader raised his weapon at Lin Moyu and said to him that if Lin Moyu take one more step, team leader will kill him. Lin Moyu didn't hesitate and walked towards Dynasty Guild's hunters. Team leader order his hunters to kill Lin Moyu. Team leader name is Zhao Jai, a level 25 mage. He comes forward and put his barrier and challenge Lin Moyu saying that. The level 12. Nobody like Lin Moyu won't be able to break his shield even if he stands still and let Lin Moyu hit him. Lin Moyu orders his skeleton warrior to kill Zhao Jai. Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior attack. Zhao Jai. Zhao Jai was surprised to see his barrier cracking. He thought, what kind of summon creature is this? Why is it so strong? His shield should be able to take at least 5 attacks from another professional of the same level. But right now, at most, it can only take 1 attack. Skeleton Warrior use his Rage Strike skill. Zhao Jai realized that, if this attack hits, his shield will break and he will die. Zhao Jai use his Fire Repulsion Ring attack to push back Lin Moyu's Skeleton Warrior. Zhao Jai back off and ask his team hunters to attach Lin Moyu. A knight attacked Lin Moyu's Skeleton Warrior. He shouted that, He'll destroy all Lin Moyu's disgusting summons, but Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior push back and throw his into sky. That night shocked thinking how is this possible? Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior again jumped towards Zhao Jai. Zhao Jai told his archers to kill the summoner Lin Moyu. He said that, if they kill Lin Moyu, these summons will disappear. Archers of the Dynasty Guild aim at Lin Moyu and said to Lin Moyu that, since Lin Moyu dared challenge the Dynasty Guild, he should be prepared to die. They shoot at Lin Moyu. Other hunter told Lin Moyu to watch out and dodge. Lin Moyu summons two more skeleton warrior. Those to skeleton warrior defend Lin Moyu from those arrow. Both of those archer were shocked to see that. Those two skeleton warrior also joined the fight. Zhao Jai was surprised when he finds out that Lin Moyu can summon more than one skeleton warrior. Zhao Jai asked his other hunters to buy his some time. Zhao Jai uses Fire Serpent Dance skill to attack Lin Moyu. Fire Serpent Dance is an exclusive skill of a level 20 mage. Only 1 in 3 mages are able to learn that skill. That's the strongest attack skill of a level 20 mage. Other hunters thought that Lin Moyu is in trouble. There was fire everywhere around Lin Moyu. Zhao Jai smiles thinking that Lin Moyu should be dead now. All Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors were burning in that fire attack. But Zhao Jai was too shocked to see that. There was many skeleton warrior remaining who exceeded Dynasty Guild's numbers. All the skeleton warriors were coming towards Dynasty Guild's hunter. Zhao Jai told his hunters to use formation attack. Zhao Jai enhanced strength, agility, spirit, speed of every Dynasty Guild's hunter. Zhao Jai smiles thinking that their guild is extremely experienced and knows how to work together. The Dynasty Guild is undefeatable. Lin Moyu told other normal hunters to step back. Then Lin Moyu summoned Soul Flame in his hand and attacked an archer of Dynasty Guild. That archer's body was on fire and blue flames. Zhao Jai told his healer to heal that archer when that healer was healing. That archer Zhao Jai thought that their healers are good, but that archer dies after that healer heal him. Both that healer and Zhao Jai were too surprised to see that. Zhao Jai looks at Lin Moyu's direction. A army of skeleton warriors were approaching Dynasty Guild, Zhao Jai thought. Is their guild really going to be wiped out by one person? Lin Moyu orders his skeleton warrior to attack Zhao Jai together. Dynasty Guild's tank knight uses shield. Skeleton warriors use rage strike skill to attack, tank said to Zhao Jai. That he can't hold on anymore. Zhao Jai asked his other hunters to help him. He asked where are the supports, the blessings, that tank's shield breakdown. Another shield use got hit by soul flame. Both of them died in that attack. When Zhao Jai saw that his hunters are dying one by one, he realized that it's over. Their formation is breaking apart. Zhao Jai started running. He was too scared because for him Lin Moyu isn't human at all. But Lin Moyu got there first with his skeleton warrior. 
he said to Zhao Jai that there's nowhere to escape. Skeleton warrior hit Zhao Jai with his longsword. Zhao Jai flew away. Lin Moyu used corpse explosion skill. Lin Moyu was thinking that after being enhanced by his talent, aside from the increase of radius, the damage to enemies has increased to 100% of the enemy's health. It is known that a knight's health is one of the best among the professions. So if the damage is 100% of their health, there should be no one left alive. There was fire everywhere. A dynasty guild's hunter comes running towards Zhao Jai. His body was burning. Zhao Jai was too scared to see his hunter dying in front of his eyes. Lin Moyu comes out of the fire. He cleaned the blood from his face and walked towards the dungeon entrance. But before going inside the dungeon, Lin Moyu used corpse explosion to kill every member of Dynasty Guild. Other hunters were too shocked to see that there's really nothing left, not even their corpses. That was a complete annihilation. Everyone knows that the Dynasty Guild won't let this go. Hunters know that with Dynasty Guild's personality, they'll definitely catch and kill them one by one. Hunters thought that why not they all leave now. The guild members are all dead now anyway. No one will be able to find them. Half an hour later, Dynasty Guild's guild leader comes out of the dungeon. He was not happy because he still couldn't get the Goblin King's core. Guild leader was with another hunter. She asked him, why is there's no one here? Guild leader was surprised thinking, where did Zhu Jai and the rest go? What about the other randoms? They've all disappeared. He told his other hunter to send a message. If they're nearby, they will definitely answer. Guild leader thinking what is going on. Did Zhu Jai leave them here? Dynasty Guild's leader said something is definitely wrong. He was thinking that with Zhu Jai's ability, they should be the strongest in this area. Is there even a possibility that he got killed? If there was a battle here, then why is there no trace? He told his other hunters that it could be dangerous here. They should leave first. One hour later inside the dungeon, Lin Mo Yu was fighting with boss of the dungeon, the Goblin King. Lin Mo Yu got a system message that Goblin King has been killed. 40,000 experience points was given. Lin Mo Yu obtained bronze level weapon. Goblin King's magic book obtained low level monster core. Lin Mo Yu thought that the Goblin King's core wasn't dropped by the boss again. He'll wait till he get to Shiadzing Academy and find an alchemist before making the Goblin King's ring. Lin Mo Yu was reading that Goblin King's magic book. He thought that this magic book is quite useful. It's good for the soul flame and corpse explosion, but it's useless for the skeleton warriors. Lin Mo Yu was about to leave the dungeon, but suddenly he get a message that Lin Mo Yu's necromancer is now at level 13. Lin Mo Yu was thinking that the experience points are starting to get difficult together. He wouldn't reach level 14 in his next dungeon, and if you want to reach level 15, he need to do this dungeon three more times. If he consider the time, at most he can do the dungeon five more times and reach level 16. It's a bit lower than what he want, but it should be enough for his to get into Shiadzing Academy. Lin Mo Yu told Dungeon System to teleport his outside. When Lin Mo Yu comes out, he saw that everyone has left. He guessed that's to be expected. Leaving was the best choice for them. He said this dungeon is in cooldown again. He'll come by again tomorrow. The next day, Zia Zhu also goes to the same Shihai Mine dungeon where Lin Mo Yu was hunting. She finally reached level 10 and came to challenge the Shihai Mine dungeon. But Zia Zhu was surprised to Lin Mo Yu with his skeleton warrior. She knows that. He's the only one in this place that can summon those kinds of skeleton warrior. But she was more shocked to see Lin Mo Yu going in solo. It was hard for Zia Zhu to believe that Lin Mo Yu can already clear dungeons alone. She thought that. She is also a rare elemental mage. It'll be easy for her to find a party. Zia Zhu said she won't lose to Lin Mo Yu. 45 minutes later, inside the dungeon, Lin Mo Yu was standing in front of Sleeping Goblin King. After leveling up and using meditation to recover his spirit, Lin Mo Yu's skeleton army is now at 72. Lin Mo Yu used Soul Flame skill to wake up Goblin King. Lin Mo Yu again killed the Goblin King and get a Goblin King's long bow. Goblin King was angry after been killed by Lin Mo Yu. Lin Mo Yu told Goblin King to don't be so gloomy. He said he'll be leaving after a few more times. And isn't he a monster that's meant to kill so being killed isn't anything to be surprised. And being killed by his is faster and less torturous for Goblin King. Lin Mo Yu said to Goblin King that he don't want to kill him. But he don't have a choice since he need to level up. Lin Mo Yu is now level 13 at 80%. 12 hours later, Lin Mo Yu comes back again. And with a devil-like smile, he told Goblin King to don't be scared. He will come back just three more times. Lin Mo Yu killed Goblin King again and get Goblin King's scepter. Lin Mo Yu is now level 14 at 60%. Lin Mo Yu sit outside the dungeon and was thinking that he have 76 skeleton warriors now and his attributes have increased to 23 -0. It's too bad he can't increase the skills of his skeleton warriors. Suddenly, someone called him. 
It was Shia Shui. She just came out from the dungeon. She was covered in mud. She asked Lin Mo Yu about his level now. Lin Mo Yu told her that he is level 14. Shia Shui was shocked when she finds out that Lin Mo Yu is level 14. She asked him how is he so fast. Shia Shui is only level 11. Shia Shui thought that her party is so exhausted after clearing the dungeon two times and they've only barely got to level 11. Shia Shui said to Lin Mo Yu that even if he can solo clear the dungeon, there's no way his level will increase so fast. Shia Shui thought that in the beginner dungeon, Lin Mo Yu was level 7 and her was level 5. How is it that now she is level 11 and Lin Mo Yu is level 14? Why is the difference in there? Levels is getting bigger. Shia Shui returns after telling Lin Mo Yu that she won't let herself lose to Lin Mo Yu. Lin Mo Yu was surprised thinking that didn't she just come out? Why is she looking for another party to enter again? Doesn't she have cooldowns? One hour later when Shia Shui comes out, she was Lin Mo Yu there. Shia Shui shouted that she is level 11 elemental mage. Looking for a party, Shia Shui was thinking that one time isn't enough, she need to do it more. Lin Mo Yu looks at her and thought that Shia Shui is too competitive. He can't find an opportunity to ask her about cooldown. One hour later, Shia Shui again comes out of dungeon. She was too exhausted. I she said she won't lose to Lin Mo Yu. Lin Mo Yu tried to ask her, but suddenly someone shouted, they. They want to clear the Shihai dungeon. They're missing a mage here. Shia Shui goes to them and told them that she is a level 11 elemental mage. She can go. Half an hour later, Shia Su comes out again. This time she was too exhausted. She said to Lin Mo Yu that she is finally level 12. She'll catch up to Lin Mo Yu soon, Lin Mo Yu asked her. Isn't she tired? Shia Su said obviously. She don't even want to move a finger. Lin Mo Yu asked her why is she doing it then. Shia Su get angry and ask Lin Mo Yu. Do he still have the face to ask her that? After being overshadowed by him for so many years, she'll definitely surpass him this time. Lin Mo Yu cover his face asking just because of that. Lin Mo Yu thought that, if have known this earlier, he would have given her the first place. Shia Su told him that, it's not just that. She want to get into Xiaojing Academy too. Isn't Lin Mo Yu going there too? He should understand. Lin Mo Yu thought that, one should at least be level 15 to take the test for Xiaojing Academy, and level 16 to be more secured. At Shia Su's speed now, getting to level 15 is going to be very difficult. Lin Mo Yu told Shia Su that, she should clear the nightmare level. She'll level up faster that way. Shia Su asked him if he is joking. She said, elite parties are difficult to join because they're only looking for level 16 and 17 professionals. She is only level 12 so no one wants her. That's why she can only clear the normal one. It shouldn't be a problem for her to reach level 14. And if she work hard, getting to level 15 shouldn't be impossible. Lin Moyu gets serious and asks Shia Su that. How is she able to ignore the dungeon cooldown times? Shia Su was surprised. She asked Lin Moyu if he don't know, she said. Lin Moyu do have something that he don't know. She said to Lin Moyu that if he say please she will tell him. Lin Moyu just looks at her without saying anything. Shia Su called Lin Moyu an idiot. She said Lin Moyu don't even know how to play along. They say that a mage's thoughts are the most brightest but here Lin Moyu is being an idiot. She give a device to Lin Moyu and told him that this is a cooldown item. It's the item that lets her reset the dungeon cooldown. That was a beginner level cooldown talisman which can be used seven more times. Lin Moyu can't believe there's something like this too. Lin Moyu asked Shia Su if that is expensive. Shia Su told him that it should be quite expensive. Her father looked quite sad when he passed this to her. Lin Moyu thought that if it's expensive of Shia Su, then he won't be able to make use of this talisman. Shia Su was worried and said that she need to use all seven chances in two days. Plus her own cooldowns, she need to clear the dungeon at least nine more times before SHJ can get to 15 Latvian lats she is too exhausted. Lin Moyu looks at her without saying anything. Then he asks Shia Su that he can party up with her. That way she'll definitely reach 15 Latvian lats and she won't have to do anything. Shia Su thought that this guy can solo clear a dungeon. There's more experience if two people clear the dungeon. What's more, she won't have to do anything. But Shia Su thought that, if she do it like that, doesn't that mean she'll never be able to get to a higher level than him? She said, all right. She'll take Lin Moyu up on the offer, he'll party up with her, and they'll share the cooldown talisman. Shia Su thought that, she won't be able to catch up to him if she don't follow him anyway. Next time she'll definitely surpass Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu told Shia Su that, she should rest now, they'll start in two hours. Shia Su said, all right, she'll take a nap. Both of them rest and recover their spirit. Two hours later, both Lin Moyu and Shia Su were standing in front of the dungeon. Lin Moyu clicked the beginner level, cooldown talisman and choose the nightmare level. 
Both of them started teleporting. Shiasu was scared and told Lin Moyu to wait, asking him if he choose nightmare level. Both of them inside the dungeon's safe zone. When Shiasu saw the monster there, she was too shocked. She said that, the monster's attributes are so high this is clearly the nightmare level. She asked Lin Moyu, did he choose the wrong level before leaving the safe zone? Lin Moyu told Shiasu to stick close to him. Shiasu asked Lin Moyu, is he crazy they'll die? Shiasu stick to Lin Moyu. But she was thinking that, Lin Moyu will definitely make fun of her if she run away right now. Lin Moyu took her to walk faster. He asked her if she is scared. Shiasu shouted angrily at Lin Moyu. Shiasu saw that, Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior are not attacking the monsters. Shiasu asked him why isn't he attacking them. Shiasu was surprised that, the monsters aren't dealing any damage to his skeletons. Lin Moyu was running with monster towards a tunnel. Shiasu could not understand what exactly Lin Moyu doing. But when Shiasu goes inside the tunnel, she was too shocked. She was the Wolf King there. Shiasu thought that, this is the Wolf King in Nightmare level, it's twice bigger than the normal one. Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior throw a goblin into the sky. Lin Moyu use his corpse explosion skill, thinking that, it's a waste of time if he fight like before. Using corpse explosion to kill them immediately will save him a lot of time. Shiasu was too surprised because her experience instantly went up by 30%. Shiasu saw all the monster dying at the same time with Lin Moyu's one attack. She said what the heck is this? Can he just clear the dungeon like this? Wolf King dies just like that. Shiasu was too shocked thinking that. Her party of three suffered for 20 minutes just to kill the Wolf King. But it died in less than a minute here. Lin Moyu told Shiasu to let's go. Shiasu asked Lin Moyu, have you been clearing nightmare level this whole time? Shiasu thought that. If she hadn't seen it in person, she would have never believed it. A professional below level 20 solo clearing a nightmare level dungeon. While running Shiasu asked Lin Moyu if he have been solo clearing since level 10. Lin Moyu said, yeah, he is doing. Shiasu was surprised that, it hasn't been 10 minutes since they entered the dungeon. And they're already facing the final boss. When Shiasu saw the Goblin King, she said, he previous parties needed at least an hour before they could get to the end. Lin Moyu used Soul Flame skill to kill the Goblin King again. Shiasu was surprised that, the final boss was also killed in one hit. Suddenly, Lin Moyu got a message that, he has level up, he is now a level 15 necromancer. Shiasu was level 12. Only, the difference between them is getting bigger. After killing the goblin, King Shiasu obtained a bronze level goblin king's longsword. She said it's too bad it's not a staff. Lin Moyu asked her if she want a scepter. Shiasu said when. She said that the Goblin King scepter is the strongest mage weapon to have before level 20. Even though there's some in the trade market, she don't want to ask her father for money. Lin Moyu throw Goblin King scepter at Shiasu. Shiasu grabbed it. She asked him why don't he want to use it. Lin Moyu show her Goblin King's magic book and told her that. He have this and he don't like scepters too. Shiasu have never seen Lin Moyu take out the magic book. She thought maybe it's too insignificant of an item for Lin Moyu to use. Lin Moyu goes to Goblin King's crops and thought that, gathering the monsters together and using corpse explosion is the faster way. Lin Moyu put his hand of Goblin King's crops and said sorry to him. Lin Moyu told him that, he'll have to die five more times. Shiasu asked Lin Moyu, why is he talking to the boss, it's not like it'll understand him. Lin Moyu told Shiasu that, he just want to say it. It's not important whether it can understand him or not. Lin Moyu was going out of the dungeon. Shiasu looked at him and thought that, who would say sorry to the boss that seriously, isn't the boss there just for them to kill it? Shiasu said Lin Moyu is a weird person, but he's a bit cute. Lin Moyu told Shiasu to let's go out and continue. Both of them comes out of the dungeon, as they comes out. Lin Moyu again used the cooldown talisman, and they cleared the dungeon second time. Then both of them did it three more time. Shiasu reached level 14. Shiasu was happy. She said they still have one and a half days before the big exam. They can clear the dungeon two more times. If she can reach 15 Latvian lats then passing the exam will be easy. She called Lin Moyu idiot Lin and asked him if he is also going to level up again. Lin Moyu said. Yeah, Shiasu asked him why not. He try becoming the champion. Lin Moyu asked him what champion. Shiasu told Lin Moyu that he will get a lot of points for being the champion. And that's extremely useful in Shiajing Academy. And the most important thing is, he get the chance to enter the Creation Seminary. Lin Moyu asked her, what is Creation Seminary? Shiasu said that, she heard from her father, that the Creation Seminary is the best of the best in their country. If the Shiajing Academy is filled with talented elites, then the Creation Seminary is filled with talented ones at the pinnacle of power. 
she heard that Senior Su Kaianjin is inside, and he's the only one from Shihai City. Shia Su said that, she think Lin Moyu have the chance to be the second one. If he can enter, she bet Principal Lu will even smile in his dreams. Shia Su was thinking that, Lin Moyu's clearing method has never been seen before, and has completely refreshed her understanding. If even he can't enter the seminary, then who else can? Lin Moyu thought that, his sister is at Shiajing Academy, so he must be admitted inside. If there's a chance for the creation seminary, he'll try it out. Shiasu saw Lin Moyu's friend Yong Lin behind. Yong Lin was a level 11 knight. Shiasu said Yong Lin is level 11 already, but too bad he's a knight, and his level right now isn't enough to tank the enemies. A normal level party would need at least a level 13 knight. No one was letting his join their party. Lin Moyu told Shiasu to bring Yong Lin along. Shiasu said alright. 